Welcome back to Meditations with Jake. Today I'm talking about enlightenment, the end goal, nirvana, heaven if you like. The best place to be, pure peace within, pure harmony within, pure joy for everyone and just compassion. Imagine having so much compassion like Jesus Christ that when you were being tortured on the cross, you were just looking down at the people torturing you saying, these people know not what they do with compassion in his eyes. Can you imagine? Wow, what a state to be in. Today, there are a few people that I feel might be enlightened, Eckhart Tolle being one of them. If you want to experience a person talking who is enlightened and get a feeling for what it might be like, these people are extremely rare and extremely lucky, in my opinion, to have reached a goal of happiness, joy and peace within. The reason I talk about enlightenment is because in Vipassana, it's spoken about as the end goal or you're working towards it. I feel like this is a little bit of a trick though, because on the path of Vipassana, you're also taught Shila, which is morality or good behavior. On the path, you learn to be a better person and you are a better person to other beings. And you kind of forget about the enlightenment goal. Also, you should forget about it because it could become a craving, which would be a barrier on your way to enlightenment. So there's a lot of reasons to kind of forget about enlightenment and focus more on your meditation, your daily practice, and being good to other people, compassion, loving kindness, these kind of things. If your only thoughts are towards the end goal of enlightenment, then you're kind of missing the point. And I believe that maybe you need to speak to your AT because you might have some craving issues that you need to deal with. ATs are always available to talk to if you have any problems with the technique like, for instance, you're craving enlightenment. So if you want to see someone who's enlightened, just Google Eckhart Tolle, watch some of his videos, or read some of his books. His book, The Power of Now, actually really relates to Vipassana, in my opinion, because he's essentially stopped his monkey mind in its tracks, and that's what we're doing slowly but surely with Vipassana. Keep practicing, morning and evening, Thanks for watching, speak to you soon, like, comment and subscribe please, it helps my motivation and yeah, thanks for watching, peace, peace, peace.